Oh my god, six minute intro. Where is the streamer? Baby Rage. Wow, where is he? Petrowski. Ah, good morning, guys. How are we doing? What's up, fellas? I know. I know. Lots to talk about today, okay? First, we got some points, okay? We got the notepad document up. First, I didn't sleep so good, okay? But that's okay. It happens. Secondly, I got sick overnight. Not good. Happens. Thirdly, I still need Articuno, okay? Fourthly, I still need more shiny Pokemon. True and real. And then fifthly, look at the Pokemon stack, boys. We're broke. We're broke. 510k is all that remains, okay? But don't worry. I didn't gamble it all away, okay? I'm not that dumb, okay? I gambled a bit of it away for fun. Didn't, didn't, do, don't worry. I stopped there, okay? I spent all my Pokemon on investments. I've officially made investments for this event. Let's check them out, okay? So I bought 206 Great Balls for around 15, 15.5K a piece, 15K a piece. Uh, 34 Pokeballs, nothing crazy for like seven, six, seven, five. 7.5k a piece, uh, Premier Balls for around 360k a piece, and then Ultra Balls for around, I think it was 66k for 10 of them. Um, I'm going to continue to keep buying Great Balls. I feel like that's the one I care the most about, but it is nice to pick up a little bit of everything. Um, I think Great Balls are probably my favorite, and I think they're the most interesting one. And my, after thinking about it for a lot longer, okay, I was very, very wishy-washy. I was very, like, I don't know if investing in this event is gonna be good sort of situation um for for quite a while and the more that i've thought about it i've really really come around to this i think that this event might actually be one of the best events to invest in maybe ever maybe i'm cope i don't know um the reason being is that this is gonna be such a whale item like such a whale item um where if if people can just swipe their credit card and get a quick shiny like the fact that whales or people can come home from work and be like you know what i've had a really bad day i've had a tough time i really need a dopamine boost let me log on pokemo swipe the credit card and just get a bunch of great balls and try to get a quick shiny the fact that you can open like 1200 of these per hour right 1200 per hour and the shiny rates like one out of 4k you can get like a shiny if you really wanted to if you have the poke yen you could get a shiny in like two hours like it's pretty not fair for free to play you're not wrong i think this is the most pay to win thing that pokemon's ever done which really sucks for the game for the shiny integrity and for the economy however it's you want to you know abuse it be really you know be might as well might as well be smart about it and um do what you can with it right so i am i am never going to open any more of these balls that's kind of where i stand uh, as someone who like got a shiny from them which is really funny i i've gotten a shiny from them the stantler right let's grab it um, and that was a lot of fun. That was really exciting. And I'm really, really happy I do have that. But at the same time, as someone with a shiny from these mysterious balls, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I feel like these shinies will be less valuable or less respected in the future. Uh, the reason being is because that they're kind of a pay to win shiny, uh, even though I've obviously I didn't do that. Um, but the fact that I can't prove like, oh, yeah, I didn't like just swipe my credit card and like, buy all this. Like, I think that shinies from balls in the future will kind of be looked at as like whale shinies and kind of be looked at as like bought shinies to some extent. Um, obviously, like not, you know, entirely, but more so than like a shiny, you'd have to go spend 30 hours on the fact that it's an option, the fact that it's possible for you to spend two hours or whatever, but just swiping your credit card to um earn these shiny is a big deal so my thoughts and my opinions and my stuff like that has changed a lot on um on mysterious balls and as investments my thoughts have changed a lot and as respected sh shinies that it's changed a lot so um yeah that's my thought process heading into today it's a lot it's an important thing to talk about but uh appreciate you guys listening if you disagree let me know politely politely playful that's not a word politely in the comments and stuff i you know i do appreciate it but um yeah other than that I have a couple, three more things to talk about. Well, I have some points today, okay, fellas? Um, I stocked up on Swarm Pokemon on stream and off stream. We did a little bit off stream yesterday. Um, I have around a little over two boxes. So I have these two full boxes stocked up of Swarm Mons. And then I have a row down here. And I have a Swinub that I'm ready to go redeem. And I'm going to try to chain as many redemptions as possible here, which is which is super awesome. So I'm excited for that. I'll do that here in a quick sec. And then finally, the last change I want to talk about is the Guadu change. I actually just recorded a video for that, but if you haven't heard about it, uh, the video will go up probably before this one. But you know, if you're on stream, what's up? Good morning. Uh, there was a update four hours ago in Pokemon that made the Guadu change is being titled as, and it got rid of the control shift uh, left click feature. So you can no longer accidentally release Pokemon 
And um, if you try to release rare Pokemon, I can go drill. I think, I think it works for hidden ability access. If you try to release a rare Pokemon, I'll, I'm gonna risk it on a shiny. Don't do this at home, fellas. Um, do not do what I'm about to do. Release. I think if I click yes, it should give me a confirmation, but I'm honestly, I'm not even brave enough. Um, can I test it on a different shiny? You should get a confirmation. Maybe it's only for high level shinies. I'm not sure. Let's check with like hidden ability access. I know with hidden ability access, it should work. Let's try to release um, some random seal. Yeah, so see, so when I click the release button, it says, hey, are you sure you really wanna release these? I'm assuming and it gives you two seconds of a grayed out screen to actually confirm which is really, really cool. So it gives you an extra confirmation screen. I'm sure that you have to like wait two seconds to actually be able to, which is like that two seconds of grayed out is super, super huge. Um, I'm sure that's also there with shinies, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not <laughs> gonna risk it on a low tier shiny like Raticate because maybe it's not there, I don't know. Um, but yeah, really cool little change. It's titled the Guadu change because Guadu accidentally released his shiny Bulbasaur in a matter of Pico seconds. That was pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, that's the start to the stream. Had a little notepad document, everything written down, all the points to go over. Let's go ahead and uh, turn in this Swinub, Swinub as well. And we'll go ahead and start our chain, get a mysterious Pokeball. I'll also collect all the other Pokeballs I get. Now we need to keep on that chain going. Snover, Deerling, and Staryu. Little Lost Presents over in uh, Vermilion City. I should actually check how many Lost Presents I have. Cause yeah, I can go turn these into, is it Santa or whatever? If I go turn these in. Here, I haven't turned these in yet. Let's see what this looks like. I'm pretty sure I talked to Santa and I turned them in. Please pick them up. I have five, yeah. Gotcha, one mysterious great ball for turning in five presents to him. I believe, right? Let's double check. Julio. Then here's the last Pokemon for this rotation. Turn in the Staryu. Give me a... Ooh, that's Boxing Gloves. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, Boxing Gloves is a cool vanity. I really, really like the Boxing Gloves. I think it's a very, very cool vanity. I'm really excited. I might go and equip them. It's kind of a cool little meme. I like them, dude. I think they're cute. I think it's a good meme. Okay. Delibird, Stantler, Snover. How many have I turned into total now? Only 30. We've got a bunch stored up. I'm running low on Snover here. I don't know if I have any... I have... Okay. No, I have four left. Okay. Wait, is this one... Two? No, that's a hidden... Blow. Okay. I've got four Snovers left. I think Swinub or something is one of the Pokemon I'm pretty low on as well. Another rotation complete. Let's see which... Uh, what? Maybe an Ultra Ball? Okay. Mysterious Pokeball. I'll take it. Why not? I need Deerling, Lapras, Stantler. I will say, okay, once again, this is not financial advice. Please make your own decisions. Like, don't, like, I'm going to give in my thoughts and opinions as, like, a player that's been played in the game for 10 years, but um, I, I can, I'm, I'm wrong all the time. Keep that in mind. Make your own choices, your own decisions. Um, I do think, I do think that personally right now is a really good time to make investments. I think today should probably be the last day you guys make your investments. I think today is the bottom out. I usually say, like, three to four days before the event is over is usually around when things bottom out, and then, like, during the last three to four days, or, like, the last two to three days um that's a really cheap premier ball um they start to go back up in price and like they start to like panic spike back up now they'll probably spike back down after the event itself is over um oh that's a 6k mysterious ultra ball what the fuck i got one okay cool um okay pod why not um yeah make sure to uh get all that done now because it was only around four yeah i think this is the like the event four days and 19 hours left i think this timer is perfect for the end of the event actually it's not just like another thing because it's january 2nd i believe january 2nd is when the event ends so this timer should be perfect to let you know when the event actually ends itself which ball do you recommend with little funds to buy i mean the, the real answer is if you have little funds if you have less than like depends on the mat like depends on how long you want to hold also okay if you don't know literally don't make investments literally do not even do it unless you plan to be playing the game for like over two or three years um, if you aren't willing to hold an investment for a minimum of two years, don't invest. Um, the whole point of investments is like they're a long-term thing. It's not a short-term thing. You're not sitting here. You're not buying mysterious Pokeballs or mysterious whatever to like see them spike up at the end of the event. That doesn't happen. That won't really happen. Um, what you are doing is you are buying them now so that in two years time minimum, like think of it as spending your money now. Like don't think of it as like a investment you think about. Investments in Pokemon are essentially like you spend your money and then you forget about it for two years and then you sell it and make big, big money. Um, that's, that's really it. Um, but you have to, if you're not a patient person or if you don't, you don't even see yourself playing Pokemon in two to three years, it's probably not worth it. Um, investments are not for everybody. Um, it's definitely like a long-term, very, 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 very macro thing. Um, but if you have low Pokemon, I mean, po Pokeballs and Great Balls are, I think, I'm going Great Balls. I think Pokeballs and Great Balls are both great investments. I think Ultra Balls are pretty expensive. 
and tough for what the the price is but it's probably solid i usually avoid the higher ones but i feel like they're probably they usually do pretty well uh i think if you have a lot of money i think premieres i think premieres might secretly be an incredible investment um the fact that you can quickly shelf a hunt with these is kind of insane um usually so let's i don't know the so a usual shelf a hunt costs you around one to two bill if i'm not mistaken which i know is an astronomical amount of money to any you know person right um one to two bill on average but if we take this if we take um let's do mysterious premier ball if you buy them now uh how much are that through 50 they're you kind of get up there you're probably gonna pay 400k average if you, if you need you know four thousand of them but let's say you're paying four hundred thousand pokey an average for four thousand of them what's the cost on this 1.6 bill that's around the right cost but you're doing it in like two hours two to three hours versus um if you're alpha, you know, shalpha hunting eggs, it's taking you like 2,000 hours. Um, the difference of time save is just ridiculous. Obviously, not many people have 1.6 billion pure cash. The serious Pokeball for this rotation. What's up next? I'm really curious how many I can do in a row without getting stopped yet by some sort of Pokemon. 39 so far. I need like 280. I'm still like maybe halfway done if I get lucky. Oh, Mewtwo has been abandoned. It's kind of funny. I'm getting a lot of Snover. Redemptions, which is a little scary because I don't have that many Snovers. I have a lot of Stantlers and I have a lot of Seals. Another rotation completed here. Let's see what I get. Ultra Ball. Okay, cool. Mysterious Great Ball for that rotation. Kind of cool. All right. Deerling, Pineco. Ooh, Pineco's one I don't have that many of, but I think I should have at least one. Pineco, Deerling, Seal. How many Pinecos do I have? Let me actually check really quick. I've got two there. Maybe I have more than I... Okay, I have like six. Okay, I got six. There's a Pineco Swarm right now too. It might be worth to go catch that really quick since they're like kind of rare-ish it's just rng like no no swarms are actually rarer than the other but you'll hear people you know say so it's just i mean they may look like rarer so far than the others but it's, it's just rng obviously another rotation completed give me a nice uh pokeball <laughs> yeah called it pokeball i only have one snover left i am hard running out of snovers unfortunately that's gonna be the one i'm stop gapped on probably for sure how many of you delivered not that many yet uh what is it, like 40 yeah 49 i still have a long way to go but i have a lot stocked up i was just stuck on I think I said before, like I was stuck on two Pokemon returned with like 90 Pokemon stored in my boxes because I was just waiting for, um, was it like a swim up or something? I was waiting for some specific swarm for so long. Another rotation done. Delibird, Sfeel, Staryu. Ooh, Sfeel I don't have that many of. Sfeel, Delibird, Staryu. Let's see how many Sfeels I have. Three. Okay, not bad. Sfeel, Delibird, Staryu, right? That was the... I have a lot of Staryus and stuff. I try to go to the ones that have good shinies. I like check every... Like, sometimes you have to prioritize certain swarms over the other because so many swarms are happening that you only have so much time to, like, catch them hilariously. Um, I noticed at nighttime... I don't know how you guys... This is obviously just feelings. You know, I don't know this for sure. Dude, it felt like last night I logged on at, like, 2 a.m. There was, like, no swarms. It felt like there were way less swarms at nighttime, ET, than there was, like, I feel like during the day for me, there's, like, two swarms at all times, at least. But last night, like, there was, like, zero swarms. It was, like, 10 minute, 10 minutes of, like, breaks of chat in the in the Discord. And obviously, just less people are active at that time finding swarms. But still, it was pretty, it was pretty extreme. This is going to be my last Snover, isn't it, that I'm about to turn in, so... I get another Snover after this. I'm officially stopped gapped. All right, here's the end of this rotation, and I'm hoping for no Snover in this next one. Maybe give me a break on Snovers for a little bit. Okay, we'll take it. Swinubs, Field, Glaceon. I have a lot of Glaceons as well. All right, here's this rotation. Mysterious Pokeball. Once again, no Snover, please. Okay, not good luck so far. Snowrunt, Lapras, Staryu. Here's this rotation done with. Show me Mysterious Pokeball. Sure. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a set um reward or if it's random or whatever it is nice no snovers again swinub sealed glaceon someone know how to write a ticket if you go to the menu click support request it'll insta link you to the website to submit a support request ticket another rotation done right here glaceon turned in once again no snover what we're hoping for but i've gotten pretty lucky on it so far. oh i missed up I'd, I'd be okay if, like, if i got a snover here i've been lucky enough i'd be okay with having to be stuck on a snover and have to hunt it down yep there it is still chain link and stantler we could turn in though all right here's the last swarm redemption for now i'm gonna be stuck on snover for a little bit here let's go shiny check and go catch that uh alpha salamance if it's still around in ho and hopefully okay we made it here let's we can go ahead and shiny check the shell dons here as well while we're at the salamance might as well man all right here's the alpha salamance encounter 
Let's see how it goes, fellas. No, shiny. Can you guys believe it? Unbelievable. Which balls do you use to catch the swarm mobs? Uh, quick balls are really good. Quick balls, dream balls, if they've been asleep for two turns, are probably the ones I use the most. Sometimes some great balls. For alpha catches, I use um dream balls and timer balls a lot. So I've since learned that head smash from Rampardos does in fact kill alpha salamence. I know it might shock people um, that a very such a powerful Pokemon can, act can actually do damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the... Iron Head. I'm, I just bring out my Rampardos to essentially like weaken alphas a lot of the time. I can also flinch with Iron Head here, which is nice. There we go. There's the flinch. I was like, I'm pretty sure I should get a flinch. That'd be nice. Uh, and then here, I'll just throw a Pokeball to lower stats because of I gave it contrary. And I don't want to kill it. If I Iron Headed again, it would kill it. And I'm choice banded, so I can't do anything else. Um, so we lower stats here by one due to contrary and the alpha effect. He goes for a D-Dance, which lowers his stats even more. I really wish he would have killed my Rampardos, but sure. Um, I'm going to make a switch over to my Spinarak here. So it's where it's like, uh, if he attacks and kills me, that's fine. But then also if I can, if he doesn't, I can like attack with my Spinarak and get a little, a little chip damage off. That won't really like be very good, which is good. That's what I want. Um, what do I even do here? I could probably just Leech Life or something. Yeah, like nothing crazy. A little bit of heal. Will that put me out of range of D claw? That'd be very, very funny. So 15.2. A crit leech life would kill him. I don't want to do that. This is perfect. This is alpha catch is going perfectly. So he's very low HP. Now I could bring in my Breloom. I can go for a spore and then fall swipe. And this should be a really, really good catch. New fairy set is unironically good. Probably the best elf bot outfit. Dude, especially I don't think people are talking enough about like just the fact that they released pretty much a pink. Um dude, a pink like santa hat essentially that's a big deal um i feel like the fairy bot elf hat is really good i feel like this vanity has some insane potential this is a very 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 good vanity um yeah I, for any christmas in the future people might want that so i don't know if i'm at max turns yet for timer ball which is like 11 um but what i can do is i can it has been asleep for two turns and i know that for sure so i can dream ball here this catch is this encounter has gone very very perfect uh, all the stats are lowered He's asleep, 1 HP. Now, if he reverses stats or resets here, that could be really scary. We're still fine. He does, like, no damage to me. I'm going to spore him. And now I can, like, timer ball. Is the fairy hat one per character? Yes. That's also the stip, which is insane. Dude, yeah. I, which is, like, okay. I don't, whether, like, whether that's a good thing or not is tough. Like, how many people will actually go for it? I don't know. Like, Man, I, I don't know if like more people would go for this via the one character limit or more people would like open presents to get the ultra rare on like a normal. I don't, I don't know. That's a tough call. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that would affect the price, whether positive or neutral. It's kind of a tough thing to, I don't know. Tough thing to predict. Uh, there's the Salamence catch. Nothing crazy, but throwing speed is nice. We'll take it. Nothing crazy, but we'll take it. Uh, I do have to escape rope out of here. Hashtag big ocarina not worth it. Let's go heal up and uh, figure out what's next. Here, someone asked a question about shiny rates. Someone said, um, if percentage stacks up, then event percentage plus shiny charm equals negative 9k yes, question mark? Oh, I actually, wait, you're actually kind of, I thought you were, you know, you're actually kind of right. Um, yeah, so event percentage plus either dono or charm does equal like one out of 21,600, something like that. And then, uh, but if you apply donator status, shiny charm, and holiday boost, you can get your shiny rate down to one out of 19,440. And then, uh, but the, the issue is mysterious balls have a different shiny rate, so keep that in mind. Um, I did this math in a, in a video already. Um, mysterious balls don't get affected by the holiday boost, but they do. They are affected by shiny charm and donator status. Um, so you can get things like the ultra ball. I believe the ultra ball goes from one out of twenty five hundred down to one out of 1600 ish if i'm not mistaken that's off the top of my head if i remember the calculations correctly um you can knock off around not 20 percent flat but you knock off 10 percent and then 10 percent more on top of that that new adjusted number i just want to run some math how much would 2000 pokeballs cost mysterious pokeballs if someone were to if some like average player were to try to go for like a shiny how much would it cost them on average um like 76, let's do like 8K over the time of buying them all. You're going to pay like 8K per 8K times 8K, right? That's the math. Um, 64 million. So you're spending 64 million Pokien on average. On average, you could get it less, could get it more. Um, right now to get a get a shiny from, that only is from the 
pull a Pokemon. Uh, it's very fast. I mean, the main thing is you're spending 64 mil to get a shiny within like two hours. With Pokeballs, it'd be slower because it's 8,000. You can only pop like, you pop like 12 to 12 to 1400 Pokeballs per hour, I think, from what I tested. Um, great balls are nice because they're obviously just, you know, a lot faster. You save time. The one at a 4K rate and such. So I killed my Articuno. Is it possible to find another? Yep, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You can always go re encounter the legendary if, as long as you haven't caught it yet. If you catch it, you can't go re-encounter it, but if you've caught it, or yeah, yeah, if you haven't caught it, you just killed an accident, or if it killed itself, or it ran, or it, it can't, if you ran, something like that, you can always go re-encounter it at a, a very increased rate from what we've been told. We don't know how increased the rate is. We don't even know the legendary rates, though. I wish they would, it's been like, you know, many months. I wish they would kind of release that, but um, I'm following this guy. Let's actually find the seal. This is a good, like, what would you recommend to a new player during the event to make money is a good question versus, um, I, I would probably go catch Swarm Mons. Like, I, I thought that going for Lost Presence was going to be the best noob strat. And Lost Presence is very good, but, like, doing a mixture of Lost Presence and Swarms. Swarms are so good. Like, being able to turn in the three Mons and always get um those mysterious Pokeballs. Yeah, I'd say Lost Presence. Plus, you get the, like, Vanities every checkpoint or whatever. Um, Yeah, a mixture of Lost lost Presence and doing Swarms to turn them in. And maybe keeping some of the 31 IVs, but it depends on the price. It might be worth it just keep going, you know? Uh, for new players, yeah, this is, like a, this is a very good event for new players. Like, extremely good, which is why it's so funny that, um, like, this is, like, one of the best from scratch events ever, uh, which is why it's crazy that people are... I've seen so many people saying it's beginner unfriendly. Um, I don't know. People are always going to say that no matter what, unfortunately. I, you've, I love the sentiment you just said, Zerius. Um, I think a huge issue, not kind of issue, but, like, I agree with this. Pokemon essentially has two games. Uh, part one is the regions and the storylines. Part two is everything that comes after. As you say, it's very okay to enjoy either or both parts. Some people may even prefer one over the other, but part one and part two to Pokemon Mo are very different. I just feel like people who enjoy part one and take their time over the regions, like me, shouldn't also complain they can't do things in part two. Yes. This, you just nailed it. Um, I see so many, like, new players complaining they, like, can't do endgame content or can't do, like, the MMO parts of Pokemon because they haven't completed all the regions. And it's very comparable to being like level 20 or level 30 in World of Warcraft and complaining you can't raid. Like, bro, you have to get sick. Like, go put in the work and then you get the rewards. Like, it's literally video games in a nutshell. And MMOs in a nutshell. Um, people, I think what happens is a lot of Pokemon players come to Poke MMO expecting a Pokemon experience, but then getting a MMO experience and then are like shocked and like, they're like, whoa, this game takes 50 hours to even like get the, my bearings in. What the hell? Like, and that, that's, I, I you know, if it's your first MMO, I understand because that's going to be shocking. That's fair. Um, yeah, I think Poke MMO is a lot of people's first MMO or a lot of people's like, it, it draws people in with false pretenses, maybe you could argue. Um, I mean, hopefully they should know, but I try to tell people, like, it's a, it's just a grindy game. Like, this game is very comparable to, like, Old School RuneScape. It's why I love it so much. Um, this game is not for everybody. If you're not here to grind for hundreds, like, if you want to come play Pokemon and casually enjoy the storylines, that's fine and awesome and fun. I think it's really, really cool. But don't do that and then complain you can't do raids or complain you can't do, like, endgame content or, like, the boss uh, from, like, the Halloween event and stuff like that. I, I'll never understand... Like new players complaining they can't do endgame content. Like video games are the are one of the only places in life where the where the playing field is as even as it's, as it's about to get. It's never gonna be perfect, but it's way more even than like real life, you know. Um, video games are like the the great like leveling process for people. Um, if you literally put in time and effort and work, you will get results. Um, I don't know, like just I don't get it. Um, yeah, a little rant for the day, but um. I just, I have no empathy for new players, not none. I have little empathy for new players who come into a game asking for stuff and like being entitled and wanting to be able to do all the content when they haven't even put in the, like the whole point is if, it, if you can do access all the content, build the content immediately, it's then worthless. Like if you can't, you don't have to work for anything. If you remove all friction, all grind, it becomes meaningless. Now, obviously quality of life stuff is good and stuff like that is good, but there is like a really important line to be drawn, right? Hey Pat, I stopped playing six months ago and I came back today and I started playing uh, the event a little bit. I wanted to ask if mysterious balls would disappear after the events. No, they should stick around. They're going to be similar to like sealed product essentially. I kind of want to sell them, but I also don't know if I should. I think most people should either sell right now or if you want to invest, wait like two to three years. Um, if you're not willing to wait two years, once again, I don't recommend investing. Snover Unova? Yes, we go get that shit. Yes, we, we very, very much do. Thank you for the call in chat. Okay, I love that you said this, Nels. This is a very, very empathetic and sweet... Um, 
I love that you said this. Um, I don't think that new players are actually mad about the time investment and like uh, the quote unquote beginner unfriendliness. I think they're just sad they missed out on an epic event. FOMO is real. Hundred percent. This is the most like charitable, empathetic view of like the players that are um, anyone who's like complaining about beginner unfriendly. At the end of the day, hundred percent, they are just like frustrated. Um, they missed out. That's like a very very kind thing to keep in mind. Obviously, they're still like spouting stuff that I don't think is fair and I disagree with because of that, which isn't really, doesn't, isn't justified, but it adds reasoning and it's very like nice to think about for sure. There's another Snover caught some good IVs as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here and go redeem them. Dude, I swear to God, Requiem, 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 yeah. Dude, that spot is cursed. So he says, I watched your shiny wish list and you said the shiny Axie spot was cursed and you're so right. I've gotten three shiny Woobats now in 120 encounters. I've never seen anyone go to that spot and leave with like less than three shiny Woobats per Axie. And it's supposed to be a 50-50 spot still, I think, even after like the change. Um, it's That spot is insane. I've never seen anyone not get cucked there by Woobats. All right, but speaking of, we have some... Uh, Pokemon to consume a Snover to give away to the good old AI. Come here, buddy. Let's turn him in for some uh, material possessions. Why not? Not every Pokemon is built the same. All right. All right. Feel, seal, smooch him. How many feels do I have left? Surely it's not many. It's my last feel. All right. Here's the end of this rotation. Hopefully no feels. Well, I think it's just feel that I don't have, right? Nice, like I can do this rotation. Swinub, Lapras, Stantler. All right, here's this rotation completed. Once again, I think the only mon I don't have any more of is Sfeel. So hopefully we dodge Sfeel. Good dodge. Snover, Glaceon, Delibird. This rotation will put me at 78 uh, consumed so far, which is cool. Still need like 200 after this. Oh my God. I thought this grind was going to be easier than Shaman and I'm kind of eating my words. Who would have thought, but Mist was right once again, as per usual. Another rotation completed. Show me no Sfeel. Okay. Another rotation completed. Another Pokeball slash Great Ball. Star There's the Sfeel. Checkpoint. Chigling and Staryu I do have, though. All right. Well, I'm officially one of the Sfeel bros. Now we wait for a swarm, fellas. Okay. Do you guys want to know one of my most one of my most impressive food? I swear to God, I should just be like a man versus food style. I think, I think every guy thinks this, to be fair. But my, one of my most impressive feats is one of my favorite restaurants is the Sushi Buffet. Okay. It's like $25 per person. Um, to just have unlimited sushi like some of the best sushi I've ever had like the quality per price is ridiculous I don't know. I don't know how they stay in business. It's so good. Um, it's actually so tasty um, But what I would do is sh shiny noise not okay. Okay. I have it turned off. Okay um, What I would do is I would like I would work out like fast and work out right and then I would just go to this sushi place and like that would be like my one meal for the day. I'd fast and work out and then fill up on like a shit ton of sushi. So one time I did this, I fasted and I worked out. So I was starving. The most I've ever eaten at this place, I ate 14 rolls of sushi, which was like, it was something like 6,000 calories. I think the average is like 600 per roll, something like that. It was disgusting. Um, and I was full for like, I was full for like 24 hours after. Um, but I swear, dude, I should just do some eating challenges because I, that was wild. Um, I feel like on average when I go to this place, I eat like eight to 12 rolls. I, there's, I don't know how they stay in business with me fucking housing all their sushi rolls, dude. It's pretty wild. And not, oh wait, not only do they have sushi, but they also have like unlimited like steak hibachi and like really good hibachi. And then also like nigiri rolls and like other stuff unlimited crab rangoon unlimited fuck like it's so good dude i don't know how it's unbelievable this is such a good pick Oso. i don't know why but laron was always one of my favorite mons growing up laron is so on i love middle ev evolution pokemon uh maybe i'm like a middle child or something and i i do i don't know what it is uh but i think there, i think there's so many underrated middle evos like i think they just get forgotten um dude laron is yes very underrated very very based pokemon very cool design Oh, great question. Can't seem to find the answer on this. Can you find Articuno in the Safari Zone? You cannot. Uh, good question. Uh, similar to Legendary Beasts, you can't find them in the Safari Zone. Is there already a Sfeel Swarm? That's actually pretty lucky. Um, Sfeel Swarms. Uh, Hoenn. Nice. We got we got a food take of the day. I said I Casey just brought me. I cut it. I cut it up earlier and put it in the fridge as it wasn't cold. Uh, okay. Also, another food take. Casey doesn't store fruit in the fridge. Which is wild to me. And there's like, there's some fruit in fridge families and some not. Like people who store like apples in a bowl on their counter. Dude, put that shit in the fridge. What the fuck? That's fucking wild to me. Anyways, obviously just opinion, but you know. Um, favorite fruit 
guesstimations. Someone said dragon fruit. I've never had dragon fruit. It seems really good. Honey crisp apple is a really good guess. Honey crisp apple is incredible. Um, yeah, fruit is better told in my opinion too. Uh, my favorite fruit of all time is a uh, is persimmon. Uh, persimmons like it's pretty not niche but it's like like it's an asian fruit so i'm a fucking weeb not really the reason i found out about persimmon was because um during a test in like high school one of our um teachers brought in a persimmon and like shared it with us and it was like a very wholesome like memory and it was very i fucking loved it it was like that persimmon still was like the best one i've ever had um but dude where is this feel lost in this sea of people I need to buy more quick balls, man. Quick balls have been so good for this event, man. That, I, I'm so glad I started uh, really, really using them a lot. Why are Ditto base prices so high right now? Great question. Ditto prices are really, really high because everyone is trying to egg hunt on the 20% boost. Being able to, you know, have a 20% boost on egg hunt, I go over the math a couple of times. It's unbelievable. You save 600 hours on average um, with a 20% boost. And then if you pop Charm and Ditto on top, it's obviously more hours saved. Also, like, when you're saving hours on an egg hunt, you're also saving Pokeyen. So if you save, like, 600 hours, that's equivalent to, like, what, 40 million Pokeyen saved? Like, it is... So even if you're spending, like, double the price on a Ditto box or some shit, it's, like, worth... It's, like, it's like ridiculous. Um, everybody's egg hunting right now because of that. It's, it's Yeah, it's really, really, really good. Worst Pokemon design ever made? This is going to tilt some people because people love Gen 1. The truth of the matter is every generation has good design and bad design. I actually really, really liked Gen 9 design. I feel like it had some of the best, um, but there's always going to be stinkers. Like, I don't, I don't like, like, Klefki in Gen 6 probably does deserve the hate, um, but things like Halucha in Gen 6 and Avalog later on, there's some really cool Pokemon designs later on that get, like, memed on. People say, like, oh, Gen 6 Plus is just bad or, like, Gen 5, whatever. It's just, it's so cope. Um, Dugon is actually my least favorite um, design-wise. Like, Dugong's design is very boring to me it doesn't really have enough personality you can ar i think there's an argument for it I think there's an argument for any pokemon i can empathize and understand but i yeah i like seal more at least seals like the tongue kind of a little goofy um but dugon is just my least favorite design i love dugon i mean that's the incredible thing about pokemon right it's like someone can love the pokemon that i hate like dislike the most design which is really a good thing right like i want as many people to hate dugon as i do that love them if that makes sense um my, mo my most hated pokemon is actually scizor but that's from um that's due to competitive play, not the design. The design of Scizor is obviously fucking crazy based, but um, hate him in competitive. If you wanted a shiny Parasect, would you shunt for Paris or Parasect? This is a very good question. And there's no wrong answer to this, but it's kind of like opinionated. I would go for Parasect because I believe there's times five Parasect hordes, but not times five Paris hordes. I think that there is times three Paris hordes. So I would go for the Parasect and then breed it down if I wanted Paris, which is pro I probably prefer Paris over Parasect. Um, so in my opinion, I prefer like going for the faster shunt and then paying the Pokemon to breed it down. But some people may prefer the, you know, it kind of depends. That's what I would do. Alrighty. Now that I got my spiel, we can actually finally turn in some more Pokemon. So let's get into it, fellas. Let's complete another rotation. Starting with 83 Pokemon consumed here so far. I have like two boxes still in the Pokedex. So we're keeping at a good pace. One great ball. Thank you. Thank you. Show me the next ones. Pineco, Deerling, Stantler. Is it better to grind money if you're broke or shunt this event? It's it depends on I me. Mean, it depends on your values, what you you know care about. It also depends like what level you're at in the game. If you're a new player, I think new players should almost always use uh, events to make money because events are almost always the best money maker in the game. But at the same time, um, if you're new and you know that you really care about shinies, you probably should. Shine. It just depends like a value statement. It's like, uh, hey, should I buy a house or a car, or should I like? It's a better question is like, should I buy a television or a base set um, Shadowless Charizard? You know, like only you can answer that question, right? Another rotation completed. We did two off screen for a sec. Mr. Ultra Ball, nice. Does anybody know if you get like the, the balls in a guaranteed like sort of rotation or if they're like random? 93 so far. Delibird, Star, you Pineco. Another rotation completed. Stantler, Chingling, Delibird next. Another Mysterious Ultra Ball, Pog. Okay, I should definitely be co consuming the Pokemon here. There's like no deli birds and shit here. There's way less NPCs to run into and be annoyed. I should be consuming Pokemon at different. Because like Kanto seems like the most annoying one to redeem stuff at. Lapras, deli bird, Snover. I'm running really low on Lapras. I only have one more Lapras after this, I think. Let me double check. I think this is my last, my last Lapras to build turn in. Yeah. Another rotation done. Get me a Great Ball. How many have I consumed so far? Like 105 or something. 108? Okay, let's go. Stantler, Smoochum, Ching. So you said after you help 280, you get some main prize. The fucked thing up, uh, the fucked up thing about the main prize right now is that it doesn't even do anything yet. But after you, but at some point it will. That's, that's it. 
It's very, very ominous. It's like, hey, this thing does nothing yet, but keep an eye on it. It will at some point. Knowing the Pokemon devs, it may ne just never be... It may never be useful, so keep that in mind. Lapras, Star Use, Mucho. All right, here is my last Lapras. So if I get a Lapras in the next rotation, I'm not going to be able to beat it until I uh, we get more Lapras swarms. Let's see what happens. Please no Lapras. Or Glaceon, Snow Run, Star You. Again, the rotation done. Mysterious Pokeball. Once again, no lap. Ah, there's a Lapras. That's okay. It's bound to happen. 117. I'm going to end at 119 done. Am I also low on Deerling? My last. I didn't expect to be low on Deerling. That's my last one, I think. Huh. I think I caught so many. It really does add up. I pretty much need like most of most things. I need more Swinubs, I need more Sfeels, Snovers. I'm low on a lot of things, honestly. But here we can go ahead and consume these ones at least. And then go ahead and sit on Lapras for the time. It's 119 consumed. I need to reach around 280 or so. We're almost, almost halfway there. I still need to do the soot grind in this area. Has anyone in chat done the soot grind slash know what I'm even talking about? Um, I think the reward from it is some, uh, isn't it some, um, like, vanity for your secret base? I'm pretty sure. It's a very niche mechanic slash reward, but it's one that I do want to do. Yeah, dude, I really like re-grinding back up Poké and Persian. So, he said, uh, oh, wow, I don't think I've ever seen you this low money in-game. I'm excited to see you get back to the eight-figure range. I, dude, I really like, yeah. During certain events, like, during certain events, I will spend down, like, purposely down to, like, zero Pokeyen and then rebuild from there. Um, now, I don't usually spend down with, like, the Lunar New Year event still so close to the horizon, but I'm also kind of reaching that point where I might start selling some investments. I kind of already have slightly started doing that, but um, there are certain items that I have been sitting on for two years that I might be okay with, like, starting to let go. Um, I have so many anniversary presents, and those have gone up. Like these have all done up to like 40, 45k. Um, and I bought all of mine for like 20k. Like the um, 20 and 30-ish. But like these have gone up a lot. I sold all those a big huge profits. And then like Xmas presents. I have 550 from 2021. How much are those worth? 550 from that year. They're probably not worth anything. I would guess like 20k maybe. Present 2021. Like 15k a piece. I bought them for like five to six, I guess. Maybe eight. Um, what else is there? What other? I have so much sealed product, you know, that I just sit on. I haven't like looked at in a long time. A, a few lucky red envelopes from various years. Uh, a couple golden anniversaries. A shit ton of anniversaries. Uh, some goodie bags. 645 2022 goodie bags. 447 2021. Um, some pumpkin. A couple, couple pumpkin goodie bags. Uh, some Santa presents. Yeah, I got, got a fair bit of stuff. Some some red envelopes randomly. How much for 2022? Probably not. The red envelopes get so cheap. They're not that good. Red envelopes are not that good. 2022? 11k. Honestly, these were like 4k. These got so cheap during the event. It was ridiculous. Uh, what about most recent years? Yeah, like seven. Yeah, there, dude, there's, yeah. Sit on a lot of stuff I can slowly maybe start selling. I have like Santa presents. Xmas present for 2018. That's a, uh, those are a couple hundred K a piece. And they've kind of gone down actually. I bought them for like 300 or 325. Something like very small profit, but like these will, I'm going to sit on these for a long time. I'm going to clean up my boxes and move all these over back over to well, almost clean up my boxes. I can sort by Pokedex number, which is going to sort them all by species, except for Salamence. I don't need you. And then these I can go ahead and auto sort by Pokedex number, sort for species. They so can see like how many seals, how many seals I have, how many star use, how many pine codes. Like good way to see what Pokemon you need more of, you know. Don't sleep on swarms like my first shiny in a Lapras swarm. Dude, yeah, swarms are incredible for shiny checks for like rare mons like Lapras like that. Because it's a safe way to catch them versus like in the safari zone is the other best way to shunt them, hilariously. Um and then obviously, I mean, during events like this, this is a good deli bird. During events like this, I mean, you're literally the point is to run around and go catch swarms and turn them in and stuff, so. Super, super good. Uh, when it's a swarm, is the shiny shown in the overworld before you, or do you have to you have to encounter it? The, the, the overworld sprite does not change if it's shiny. Um, it's a good question. Never done a shiny charm or a link. Is it common for peeps to request yen? I think uh, if you're like a solo player, I think people end up requesting poke yen, or if like you're not, you don't really know them, or if it's like a stranger. A lot of people will like, um, who are friends will just like offer you know friends shiny charm links in return for links in the future uh like in team mister it's kind of like a unwritten rule where it's like uh you know if you pop a shiny charm make sure to invite teammates and if you know 
yeah like and like, then it kind of just like everybody goes around and around like you know we all we, like almost um like in team mister so many people pop charms that like almost always there's like charms going almost always like you're in a charm which works out so well for like progress the team and like get more chinese for team mister and like in our showcase and stuff um it's just it's a really good benefit but yeah but but if you're like a solo player if you don't really have any friends, like aren't in a team like that, like it's totally okay to request Yen or like totally okay to like pay Yen to join a join a charm or whatever. Yeah, like during shiny wars and stuff, and like during events like this, like there's literally too many charms popped for like we usually can't fill them, which gets kind of ridiculous. It feels like wars this week, dude. I've been saying that we're like, imagine I it the idea flashed in my head, but it was, it's just like too much to organize and shit. Imagine if we had like an impromptu. Chinese Wars this week. How insane that would have been. The issue is um, we would, would have had a ban. I think Team uh, I think Auk said, and I'm so glad he said this and I so agree with this. I think he said that in the future, Casey told me this, um, in the future, uh, mysterious Pokeball Shinies will not count during Shiny Wars, which is so like important and such a good balancing change. Uh, because yeah, if you could just stock up on mysterious balls and like pop them during Shiny Wars, that would be insane. Um, like way more insane than like, anything else. So... It's a great change. Um, once again, like mysterious Pokeballs, mysterious balls in general are just like the most pay to win shiny thing possible, unfortunately. So it's good to, yeah, balance around that. Okay, and unfortunately, I know it's only been two and a half hours, which is very short for a, a stream this week, but pretty normal for average streams. I'm going to have to actually go ahead and call it there. So I'm going to leave this charm and not. You can invite someone else and I don't want to waste it. Um, I'm going to call the stream here, fellas. Unfortunately, a short stream today. I'm just not feeling well on top of, uh, we have some, some short plans, which would be nice to like, I need a break from the game for a little bit and just like rest and stuff. So it'll be nice. I, I played for 15 hours yesterday, so it'll be a good little break today. Make sure to touch some grass guys during the event, get up and stretch and stuff. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Dislike if not, it's totally okay. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow on Twitch for streams like this, Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's linked down below if you're interested in that. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch Primes, and Twitch subs, and PayPal's like Venmo do help out a ton. Allow me to make more content and stream for longer. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace, Arena. Yo, Petrowski here. Firstly, thank you so much for watching till the very end of the video. I truly hope it was worth your time today. And secondly, thanks to everybody whose name is listed here. You guys all go above and beyond and allow me to make daily content. Thanks again. Have a great day.